<laughs> so there's a heartbeat back there and for me that was two days between that clip and this one but for us it's just a few seconds so now that i helped out that girl on near the uh on the bridge it's 200 rupees that you need rather than 2000 well that helps yes it does I don't know. Maybe the See, maybe. Cost of building the thing that you helped achieve anyway. So because I didn't need to do that, you're like, oh. It has lens flare. I just noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think that flag would slow him down. No, it's mailman. He's magical. He's mailman. So you can. I think it happens once the Malamart, once the second Malamart opens, that you can get hot spring water here. No, it helps after you help the, if, after you give the guy the barrel. Oh, this. okay, okay. Because it was, because like, I gave the guy the barrel, it was still a while before I gave all, it was still a while before I gave rupees to the dude. How long does it take for the hot spring water to become normal? Water. 20 minutes. Whoa. Wait, it lasts for 20 minutes? I didn't know that. I thought it was like one minute. Water? If you open up your inventory while carrying water, it actually has a timer showing you how much longer it's on. I had no idea about that. Wind Waker, right? I wish yeah. Wind Waker had a timer on how long that magic water was magical. That, that killed me. I was, con I was like, constantly paranoid trying to be... I that. never got that heart piece. Anyway, what I just did was I opened a shortcut between, like, the area south of the castle and the south area of Hyrule Field. And I'm going to show it that... Here's the bug. See, when you did this part... Oh, no, that wasn't the bug. That was just something... I'm going into... Uh, I'm going into the, going into the place that's called the Lava Cavern. I keep thinking of it as the fire cavern, but the fire cavern is in Final Fantasy VIII. It's the first dungeon. Anyway, uh, so this is a nifty little, like, random block place that you can find by using the claw shot on those medallions. This is north of the Bridge of Elden. Oh, in Final Fantasy VIII, are you gonna fight the devil? Yes, I'm going to fight the devil. I'm going to get all the guardian forces. I'm also going to complete the game. Will people please not do this for us? It's not much of a spoiler. Someone randomly gives you a pot that says, ooh, it's dangerous, and it has the devil in it. The item the item's description is save before using. Save your game before using it. And I did not mean to jump there. I meant to go into the like You completely missed. Yes. But fortunately I hit a different platform. <laughs> But what one thing I do like about Squall is like there are so many RPG protagonists that are like, oh, what do I do here? Thur. Squall is not like that. He actually like instead of you know all the other characters explaining to him what to do, he explains to the player what to do in a lot of circumstances. And then you have Titus, who is too stupid to do anything. Yes, exactly. I actually like that game.
vaulted it out. Dustin was really good, but I hated it because it was so boring. Nothing happened. That's Final Fantasy. It doesn't have a main character. Yeah, in in FF in FF. 10, uh, 12, they can't seem to decide whether it's Vaughn or Ash or, or Bosch who's the main character. I hate Vaughn. I hate him so much. He's, he's like he's like the, he's like a medieval Jersey Shore character. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have Titus, who is like a futuristic jock, who plays this weird game that involves swimming around in the ball of water. Oh, I know that. Blitz ball. I think I started watching so the beginning of that. That was the first Hey, same. That was the first game I bought for PS2. That was actually the reason that my brother and I bought a PS2. We wanted to play that game. Ten. Ten. Uh, I. It's Saturday because my schedule. My. I hope that works. I I don't know. Maybe maybe they're too far away, or maybe I'm just trying to, you know, show off. Oh yeah. I think that might be too far off to Z target. All right, back at Lake Hylia. I'm using the flight by foul thing to get to two more pose. By the way, I got another heart container from that heart piece. I was just on the top of the platform. For a second there, oh yeah, it kind of looked like like his wings had started to disappear. So it was like so. You are lucky there's a wall there. Yeah, anyway, so the first one you get by, like, going in the opposite direction from the direction you start. You can, um, in that circle of grass, there's a cave down there that you can dig into. I don't think I went there, because there's nothing really important. Maybe some rupees. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, so I was going to say, and then there's Final Fantasy X-2. That one was special. <laughs> you play as a pop star with your two pop star friends. You know, you around being pop stars. it's like Charlie's Angels meets Final Fantasy. So I tried to get right to the Isle of Riches from there. It didn't work. <laughs> what was that, Thinker? I tried to get to the Isle of Riches from that place. It didn't work. I didn't have enough height, so I had to go back and get another cuckoo. And I realized that I couldn't get those chests again, which made me sad face. And I got at the wrong item and got knocked down. Now, the thing about Ten Two is while the story and the characters are incredibly cheesy, the battles are actually really fun. They have the whole, um, they have the, the dress sphere thing too, was interesting. Yeah. Dress sphere? That's how you change... Le, Le Blanc, yeah. No, they didn't. So here I'm just showing the shortcut that I opened by giving that guy hot spring water. The dress spheres give you different job classes and you can change between them during battle. Anyway, so this is south of the bridge over Lake Hylia. There's another Poe here. Um, I was trying to get to that medallion, and then I realized that there was another bomb rock I had to blow up first. Because there's another medallion lowered down. 
Yeah, I'm realizing cannot reach. Cannot has. And oh, wait a minute. There's another one right there. And it's within reach. I'm at the right angle, that is. Yeah. Whoa, that's cool. And you don't roll off the edge. That's nice. I almost rolled off the edge. I did not actually roll off the edge. We're not quite close enough. Not the exactly right. There's a very particular radius of which you can reach I tend to, I tend to overestimate the range of this thing. I don't know why. So at this point, it's like, okay, there's a Poe up here. I just have to wait for a nightfall. There's a treasure chest, too. Why are you suddenly making me sound stupid? Oh, no, I was yawning while I said that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I thought you were, like, making me derp. Making me sound like a derp. So, yeah, I showed this because this is just chaos. So many bubbles. I'm smacking my head against something because it's so dark and I can't see. And I'm going to first person view for some reason. Oh yeah, these guys will trick you. The finish icon will come up, but don't try to finish, because they'll jump out of the way and you'll just get your sword stuck in the ground. What's unfair? I mean, I think it works occasionally, but but usually you miss. When you try to finish, because the finish icon will come up when a bubble is on the ground, and then you'll try to finish it, and it'll just bounce out of the way. Bubble? The bubbles, the flying skulls. Oh, those? You yeah. finish that. I think, like, it works maybe one in ten times or so. It's not, it's not a winning, it's not a high percentage move. By finishing them? Well, see, what I tend to do is, with the, with the flying ones anyway, you can, if you hit them with the boomerang, they fall down, and then you can finish them. Anyway, there's yet another thing you need lots of rupees for, so that was helpful. Uh, the fun thing, right? Yes, the fun thing. Yay! I will get it That's soon. So I'm waiting for night to fall, and then I realize, wait a minute. <laughs> There's a bow right there. It is now dark enough for the bows to come out. You said out in a very strange accent. Out. Out in a boot. Out in a boot. Out in a boot. Hey, I was just watching a hockey game. So this is in the amphitheater southeast of Castletown. And I got a two for one special there. Well that's the kind of the idea of the attack. Oh, I feel like multi-kill. Multi-kill. Yeah, if you come at a post soul from the wrong angle though, sometimes you won't be able to grab the soul. So this is north of the castle. Yeah, and if you don't grab the soul quickly, the Poe will recover and get back up. That's true. Anyway. Is 
anyway, so the way to find this spot north of the castle is to look for a bunch of grass that forms a circle around a non-grassy spot. Then you change to a wolf and... Yes, you change to a wolf and deer.